I'd now like to request Mr. Nehal, Chief Regulatory Officer of BSC, to present the closing remarks. So I wish you all a very good evening. It's been a long, eventful day, and I think it's been a very fruitful day with a galaxy of expert speakers ranging from uh, the likes of uh, the experts in the private sector to the government, to the regulators, to international speakers. I think I have truly and thoroughly enjoyed the day. It's been a fruitful uh, amalgamation of a lot of uh, thoughts and ideas which have come into my mind and I've kind of penned down some of the key takeaways which I see uh, which are important from a securities market standpoint. Uh, to begin with, I think uh, we all know that uh, we are in the business of trust. All securities markets buy and sell trust. So there's a huge fiduciary which we have as uh, the relevant stakeholders as we want to grow the penetration of the securities market in India. And that's where, as the markets move from a physical infrastructure to a digital infrastructure, uh, the ease of um, uh, uh, technology platform and IT makes it easy for distribution to take place. But as uh, one of the speakers said very rightly, that every opportunity has a threat to it. So with an ease of distribution, you have a huge amount of threat in terms of uh, the platform coming down or the trust being vitiated to such an extent that the markets cannot grow back. And therefore, there's a need to really ensure that we as a unit, as an ecosystem, think about this. Think about this more in detail. Think about this, that this is a threat which is there to stay and grow. It's going to grow in complexity. It's going to grow with every year passing by because the consideration, the advantage of misusing and abusing the system is going to grow further and further. Um, so in terms of what should we do, I think there have been a host of recommendations which have come across, and I think it's extremely important for us to really understand this, uh, that there is a need for some kind of a specialized cybersecurity red team exercises within the organization to A, understand and the threat, to understand the preparedness, to create a rapid action task force in case if a threat hits you, and what are the key learnings which one needs to take from the past threat so that these threats do not occur once again. Uh, there's also a need to measure and monitor the critical infrastructure the infrastructure which needs to remain working and running despite an attack. And therefore, the extra security protocol which needs to surround this critical infrastructure is of critical importance. Uh, from an organization standpoint, there is obviously the emerging threats and change processes as a paradigm of doing business is moving from what we call a physical way of doing things to a digital way of doing things. And that, true is also extended to the securities markets where the main common information sharing platform, the trading infrastructure, is based on the digital platform. There is a huge consideration for people to come and attack this because the visibility which they would get is far high. And therefore, there is a need to ensure, identify, analyze, and recommend end-to-end -end controls such that the weakest link is A, identified by mock drills, by, by the audits being conducted, and then corrective actions being taken. Obviously, uh, besides the infrastructure standpoint and the system standpoint, there is also the human element. So there needs to be vigilant mechanisms, the human infrastructure, the security officers, which needs to be A, trained, they need to be imbibed, given the relevant power, at the same time be able to act in the need of the hour. And hence it's important that cybersecurity is no longer an IT issue. It's a management issue. It's a business issue. And therefore, there is a need to obviously raise the relevance and therefore this 
conference gains a lot of importance and significance because the first such cybersecurity and resilient conference in India being co-sponsored by SEBI, who has always been a forward-looking regulator, by BSC and our knowledge partners, Ernest and Young. Uh, we've also got the close support of Z Business, who has uh, provided us with the media content, and we really thank all our relevant stakeholders. We'd also like to thank all the other media reporters who have taken the pains in coming and reporting the event. Finally, I think uh, two or three key recommendations which I thought would be important to mull over is that there is possibly a need, and this has been deliberated when I speak really at the ISCO forum also, that internationally this is gaining a lot of importance. And the topic is so specialized, it's changing, it's dynamic, so it needs full-time specialized laboratories. So there is a need to create these kind of specialized laboratories in India where people can go and give their uh, piece of software which has been attacked or the system which has been attacked so that a relevant control can be devised, a relevant infrastructure can be devised. And this can only happen if this is done in a collective manner because the cost which is involved in setting up this kind of an infrastructure is so high that for an individual organization, it would be to a limited extent. And therefore, there is a need for a collective wisdom. We all know that cybersecurity is not a one-size-fits-all. It is each person has to find his own size to fit its own organization. But although one size does not fit all, but collective wisdom does fit this particular solution. So with this, I would like to draw an end to the conference. I'd like to personally thank all the teams who have worked for the last one and a half months relentlessly, day in, day out, especially the BSC teams, both from the IT side and the regulation side, the Ernest and Young teams. I think, Basant, your team has been phenomenally and given us a lot of support, so we really thank you for that. And finally, I would like to thank all of you that you all have spent an entire day, and I hope it is time well spent. Thank you. Thank you all very much for joining us today, and thank you to everyone who made this event possible. We hope that together we can continue to raise awareness and inspire action around building the most effective cybersecurity and resilience frameworks in all our workplaces. Thank you so much, and we hope that you have a wonderful evening ahead.